Hello everyone, welcome to the final episode of All the Mods Gravitas. Uh, I love this pack so much I don't want it to go, but uh, I need to I need to move on, in my opinion. Um I had some really good news recently, which is uh Gravitas 2 is in the making, or it will be in the making soon. Uh, I don't want to give too many spoilers to what's in there. I'm not sure I'm allowed, so I won't say too much. Um, before the end of the episode, I will. Th there's a mod that might be added that uh, a lot of you guys might be interested in. So I'm going to ask if I'm allowed to share that, and then I'll, I'll get back to you by the end of the episode. So this, this episode is probably going to be recorded over a few days. Just wanted to put that out there. Uh, because, yeah, this might take me a few few days to do, if I'm honest. Um, as it's the final episode, obviously, we want to go to Glacio. And we want to probably kill the Ender Dragon, right? Because that's the whole point in this pack, is to kill the Ender Dragon. I mean, it's called the End for a reason, right? And that's where we're planning on going. So, I've got a... Uh, a warp plate here which takes me to the forest that the warp forest right and there we can get like a bunch of ender pearls and we need like loads of ender pearls for this and i was thinking about getting all the affixes and stuff on my armor and there's a load of stuff we can do to our base the main thing we should do to our base is build a roof but <laughs> it doesn't look like that's in the cards right now so we're going to leave that for now, I think. Uh, actually, we're just going to leave it, unfortunately. I wish I, I wish I had more more time in this pack, if I'm honest. Like, such a good pack. I, I will highly recommend this pack to anybody out there. Uh, if you do want to get access to this pack, Curse Forge. And I believe you can get it on FTB Launcher now as well, if you want to. And there's like Prism. There's loads of, loads of different ways to, to get access to this pack. Um, and now the quests are in, and these quests are insanely good in my opinion. They're, they've had a lot of work done on them, so hats off. Loads and loads of really good quests. So it, it will be a smoother smoother landing in my opinion than uh, when I originally started this pack like 63 episodes ago. So yeah, uh, I am going to... Actually, I think it's a waystone. It's not a waystone, is it? It's definitely one of these warp plates. I'm gonna have to go kill like an absolute butt ton of uh, of Enderman, I think, because uh, we need the eyes of Ender so we can find the end portal. That's sort of my my thinking about it. Um, I do plan on doing a one way trip, so we only need to take fuel going there. I will take all my fuel with me just in case because we've got an Ender ch Ender tank thing for it, right? So it should be fine. Um, ideally. It would not be winter right now because it's such a pain. I, yeah, the snow is so annoying, but it's fine, I swear. Right. I might need better armor to do this, so I'm going to go gear up and we'll go kill loads of endermen. Oh, okay. We uh, we have barely any health now, but I did get 21 enderpearls just from one excursion. I, I think it's proper useful to have looting on your sword. Even if I don't have looting three, I've still got a bit of looting. Uh, I did find like a ton of Enderman, to be fair, so that's probably why. And I put this sort of armor on, so all of my apotheosis -y stuff that we've got. So we are going to have to use... Oh, I need to go get some blaze powder as well. Interesting. Okay, I didn't know you could do that. You can make some blaze, blaze powder using, using this. Coal, gunpowder... Redstone powder and ender powder. Which you need ender powder for. Interesting. That's probably what we're gonna do. What about the pulverizer? Yeah, I think I think the uh, crushing wheels are the best right there. Uh, the reason we're doing this is obviously eyes of ender. So blaze rods. We've only got two. Interesting. Oh, that was pretty lucky. We got nine out of those two. So we can use those with the Ender Pearls. Ooh. We got any um regen? Okay, we've got some scrolls. Maybe it's a good idea to pop one of these. 
I mean, we should probably save it for the uh, Ender Dragon fight, right? Okay. So that will heal us over time. Like, I know we're getting healed over time anyway, but this will heal us more over time. Uh, we do have a really good way of getting Blaze Rods. Thank you to Blood Magic. So we're going to go into the Blood Magic area and we'll get Blaze Rods. Which one is it? I think it's this one. One of these has got it. I think it's in here. Yeah, there's a blaze spawner right there. Sweet. Right. Uh, I really need to box this in a bit better, but obviously we don't really need to, in my opinion. We did okay right there because we did have the regen. Regen effect going, so... Not too bad. Do I have any um, fire protection? Uh, fire damage reduced by 29%, so that that will be why as well. Ah, you know what, we'll just leave this burning. 18, I think, will be enough. Wait. So we've got a chance of getting 6 out of these, and then you can make a blaze... So... Wait, how, how much is the percentage for this? 25%, okay. So on average, yeah, we don't profit if we like to convert all of the blaze powder back into blaze rods. We don't profit. Okay, I was just checking. Just trying to find some cheese. There it is. Speaking of cheese, like I was just going to leave that in as a little joke, but I'm going to smelt it up. It does say nutrition is dairy, and I don't think we've ever had dairy. We've got vegetables right now. We need to get protein, fruit, and grain as well if we wanted to do this, but... It actually gives you dairy. No way. I thought, like, there's there's a few foods which uh, they don't go off and stuff. Like, oh, this does go off. Haha. <laughs> Interesting. Okay. Uh, doesn't look like there's any integration with that, but oh, that gives a lot of dairy. Actually, no, this gives loads of dairy. Interesting. That actually boosted our health by quite a lot just by eating a bit of cheese, which um, I think is that's definitely a thing in real life. I don't know why this doesn't give protein because I, I thought protein was uh, you get quite a bit of protein from dairy, don't you? Hmm. I don't think I'm going to bother, like, doing that, if you know what I mean. Like, getting my, my health all the way up and everything by eating all of the all of the different foods. I think I'm t that's just going to take too much time. So, what we are going to do... Ah, let's get rid of that. Is... Uh, well, first off, we need to get the Eyes of Ender. We have 31. That was a really bad idea. Why did I just do that? I need to keep... Okay, I'm going to have to go get more ender pearls. I need to keep a few ender pearls just in case I die. Because if I die, I can't get back there. Whereas if I have an ender pearl, then I can add the ender pearl to the key and then I can get back there, right? Did I know this was here? I don't think I did, you know. This was just like right next to where we built our thingy. Our warp plate. It was pretty decent. Uh... Is there any chests? I'm, I'm assuming there's chests in here. That's the whole reason I'm here right now. Because we could get some really decent stuff. Hello, Piglin. Well, whatever it is, we're going to nick it all. Because why the heck not? Here we go. Lucky number seven on the Ender Pearls right there. So, what else do we get? We got an okay looking crossbow. Not too bad. Meh. Alright, sword. Total speed bow. That's pretty good. Yeah, okay. Nothing too too great, I'd say. Not, not, not too bad, though. Hey, hey! I actually found something I can do. I can put, put that on. So, I've got power now on this, this bow. Which is pretty good. Also gives me speed. So, I'm a little bit more zoomier, which is pretty good. Uh, I realise you can't put piercing on a regular bow, right? And I think we are going to have to use a regular bow. We do have a decent amount of arrows. It might take some spectral arrows as well. 
That's probably a good idea. Uh, arrow velocity. So now we need to put a gem on here. So a breach gem. Base arrow damage. That might be a good one to do. Gem. We've got an absolute ton of gems, must admit. So it'd be good to look through these. I've literally just finished doing some gem stuff on my uh, uh, All the Mods 9 series. So I'm kind of in the mind for gems. Maybe we just do arrow. No. Bow? Doesn't come up with any gems. Okay. Hashtag bow. No. Okay. Arrow it is. We'll do arrow. And then we'll pick one of these. I think that's a good one right there. Velocity though. Mm, yes. I think this will do. So arrow damage is like really high on that one. Not bad. Not bad at all. So maybe this is all we do. I don't know. I was thinking that we'd have like way more prep to do. But it doesn't look like we do. Okay. All right. And uh, I and I leave the ender pearls here just in case. Uh, I need to swap out my armor. Oh, it doesn't do the thing. Okay, let me just take all of this off. Okay, didn't want to do that. Give me that back. Thank you. Boot on. Put all of these away. Obviously, we're a little bit more slow now because, yeah. We do have the the bow. Uh, let's grab. What do we need? Probably an ender tank for water, because we might need some water whilst we're out there. I do need some more food, so I might go and nick some more spud. Although that one looks fine, so we could use this. Uh, what else do we need? Arrows. Definitely need arrows. Let's take all of the arrows we've got. Why not? Uh, we need a bucket at least, so we can get the water out of this. Oh, and we need one, two, three, three buckets. Did I already fill this up? I can't remember. Eh, oh, I did. Okay, well, yeah, we're going to need to take this with us. Anything else? I forget what you use. I mean, we could take a bunch of beds. And we oh, that's rotten. It's good that I noticed that. Potatoes. These aren't rotten. Perfect. Uh, wait, didn't we find out that soy was probably better? One month. Okay, let's take a few soybeans with us. Never mind, they're all rotten. Excellent. When it's in here, it obviously just keeps... It doesn't update that. So Right there it says one month, but... Obviously, that's that's not the case. Wait, can I use this as a trash can? I always forget. I think it just, yeah, it just destroys them. So that's pretty good. Um, yeah, we don't need those. Do I have a soy setup? I don't think I do right now. Yeah, you know what? It's fine. Let's let's just ignore that. I did see that Glacio is like a very cold planet. So what we're going to do is we're going to... I think I've got like a bunch of these things. So there we go. We're going to set up our insulated stuff. So that way we won't get cold whilst we're out there. What other things can we have? We can have a charm and a belt slot. Belt slot. What can we have here? Tool belt. Oh, yeah. Or we could put our satchel there. That's probably where we're going to put our satchel, to be fair. And a charm. That's the only charm we have. Ooh, plan. Why don't we look at getting stuff from... Um, yeah, from blood magic. So these are the charms that we can have. Charm of holding... Frozen Lake, Magnetism, Fast Mino. Magnetism might be the best. Doesn't look that bad. Magnetism Reagent. Okay, we could do that. What? What's this? This is an imbued slate. Right, I'm going to go off and make one of these. Just do it in the alchemy table and we should get the reagent. 
We've got arcane ashes somewhere, right? I'm kind of worried that it's going to snow onto the arcane ashes. Hopefully that'll be okay. Right, here we go. Stick that one in. I can't believe I haven't made this before yet, though. Like, I should have been looking at this a while back. Uh, oh, well. Come on. There it is. So, this will drain our blood network, but, I mean, we've filled it up, I think, already. Although we used a little bit for the uh, the green grove to grow all of our trees. Uh, but that, that's a decent charm slot, in my opinion. Charm? I mean, there's the angel ring, but you uh, you kind of need an elytra for that, so that's not really possible <laughs> right now. Uh, oh, wow. And there's, like, all of these potion masters in this. I forgot about that. Ooh, okay. Why don't we get... I know we just made this thing, but why don't we get, like, a good potion master one? Is there a regen? Regen. <gasps> there is. Charm of Regeneration. Oh, it doesn't take... Oh. Yeah, the the timings on them are really crappy. So, the good part about this is it lasts a bit longer, I think. I don't know. We should definitely do this, though. How do you make a regen potion? Gas tier. Tier. I don't have any gas tears, that's why. Regen? No. That's a point. We should take a bunch of scrolls with us. So, enchant. Wow, we got loads of them. Right, let's have a look. Scroll of speed. Okay, that one might be quite good. Soft falls, definitely needed. Redstone site we don't need. Supercharged. Okay. Strength, yep, we'll do that one. Absorption, 100% need that. Lightning resistance, nah. Okay, I'm going to quickly go over all of them. Absorption, health boost, instant health, again. Um, oxygen bubble, that would be really good. 10 minutes of free oxygen, awesome. Uh, regeneration, resistance, soft fall, speed, speed again. Strength, another strength, and preservation, which... We're going to have to pop this one, I think, probably first, or maybe last, right? So we'll pop all of these, all the ones that, you know, I'll probably do instant health two first, and then when that runs out, I'll do instant health one, for example. So strength V first, and then, or strength five, whatever you want to call it, and then strength the regular one after that. Right, before we go, I am quickly going to lob this one away, and I'm going to go have a drink. And then it's off to Glacio. Oh, hello. Oh, you're kidding me. As soon as I walked away. Okay. Cool. Off we go. Let's go to Glacio. Yeah. Lift off. And here we are. We're back in this screen. We can now leave the solar system. We can go to Glacio. So click it again. We should be landing. Oh, hello. I'm not even in my ship. That was weird. <laughs> so I'm holding the space button the entire time right now because reasons. I did forget to fill up all my oxygen before we... Uh... Oh, you know what? Let's let go. Dropping, dropping, dropping. Okay. Now we're going to stay at, like, you know, the minus 0.4 speed. I forgot to fill my oxygen up, which was a bit of a... Silly move on my part. But we are in the cold planet right now. I may uh, kind of just go straight straight over to uh, where we need to go, right? I think it's probably better. As in, uh, I'll use the, the pearls straight away. And there we go. We can shift to get out. Nope. Left shift to dismount, so shift, and then we can get the rocket back. So we're going to hold on to the rocket. Punch that away. We have got our tank, so we can go back if we wanted. I did forget to bring the uh, the pad again, because I am very silly. Why did I do that? But this should be enough ender pearls for us to 
You know what, I'm going to get out of this, like, this whole thing right here. Is this snow? Permafrost. Interesting. Right, let's throw this and see where it's going to take us. Over in this direction, okie dokie. So, whilst I'm running over into the direction of the end portal, I did, did just want to mention a mod, which probably we should have got into, but I never did. There's two, there's two actually. There's obviously the uh, the loot dragons, which got added probably like a few episodes in. I, oh, hello. Oh, this is not good. I didn't think about this. Um... How do we get out of this? Are we going to land at some point? We are going all the way down. Flipping heck. Okay, we're at least at the bottom now. So I can do some powdered snow stuff like that. There we go. Whew, that was scary. Uh, we are really far down. I need to continue off in this direction, I think. Oh dear. Anyway, I was going to say, uh, there's... <laughs> there's two mods that I didn't get into, and that is the flying machines. That's... Is it just called flying? I can't remember. There's... Remember it's got a weird name. So there's this flying machine mod, which I think would have been super useful for us to use. I didn't bring my uh, mining gadget. Oh dear. Ah, oh, you know what, it's fine. Um, yeah, I think that would have been really, really useful. We should have uh, definitely made some flying flying machines at some point. But, yeah, I, I don't know why we didn't. Probably a timing thing, right? And then the other one is obviously the, the loot dragons. We uh, struggled so much with, like, digging and mining and stuff, right, that... I was like, you know what, we'll try and do that after Glacio, but now that we've come to the decision, I say we, I've come to the decision of uh, ending the series after this episode. Where's the best way to go? I think it's probably this way, isn't it? It's really nice that these don't fall. Happy about that. Yeah, loot dragons look really, really interesting. You can find one which has like, I think like nickel and stuff. Oh, you're kidding. Is this all powdered snow as well? This is snow. There we go. We're out. Made it. I need to keep an eye. Does it say powdered snow if you're if you're walking over it? Snow, snow. Okay. Just got to be careful. Yeah, loot dragons. I really wanted to get into those at some point, but never did, unfortunately. That's, that, that was just on me, though, that I didn't get into them. It's my bad. Uh, if anyone did get into Loot Dragons and you have, like, a, a video on it or something, please uh, please let me know because I'd be interested to see because I don't think I've looked up many people other than Pufferfish. Oh, my goodness. Come here. Got him. Of course you're doing like loads of damage to me. Oh my goodness, there's loads of them running away. Running, 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 running. I'm getting colder and colder. That's not a good sign. Probably should have brought some lava with me. Oh, they're all following me. Go away, please. Go away. Ah. Oh, this is so rocky. Definitely should have made one of those flying machines. Oh, that was powdered snow. That was uh, interesting. Bugger! I got, um, yeah, I got attacked by <laughs> blitzes. That's fine. Uh, absolutely fine. Vendor pearl. This is why we went and got a bunch of vendor pearls, right? And we're back. I've got to quickly grab all my stuff, like, straight away. There's so many of them around here, it's kind of ridiculous. Oh my goodness, please don't do that. Stop it! 
Oh. Look at them. Luckily, I do almost one-shot them with the bow. And it's it's the combination, right? It's that and the powdered snow. It just oh, wow! Look at the look at the aurora borealis or whatever you call it. It's pretty nice. Yeah, the the powdered snow really, really, really gets to me as well. I've been hitting that quite a bit, right? Anyway. Yeah. Okay, still in this direction. Good to know. I wonder how far away it is. I should just take these guys out whenever I see them. Oh, I bounce off him. Okay, I hit another patch of this powdered snow. So what I've been doing is I've just been digging up, pillaring myself back up. Just like that. And you can kind of see it. It looks slightly different. Oh, maybe it doesn't. Yeah, yeah, it's got a tiny little bit of a difference to the, uh, the pattern, I think. It depends if there's any snow on top, like, you know, the, the little pile of snow, if you know what I mean. So it's still in this direction. I'm, I'll tell you what, I'll try and get there, get all the way there, and then be back, unless I think of anything. Right, I must be getting close by now. It's been absolute yonks of me going around. These, well, I think at some point turn into ice, right? Uh, but I have got full food and I'm really running low on food as well now. I've been at this for probably, uh, I don't know, an hour? An hour just running that I've cut out right here. So if I click this, yeah, it's still going in this direction. Come here. Um, I've fallen in the permafrost like a bunch of times. I did die just a minute ago, by the way. That's when my health came back all the way up. Anyway, yeah, I think we're kind of close because I got it so it was basically going north for the entire time. I ran north and now it's going sideways. So I'm going to come over here and then click that. <gasps> it's going backwards. Oh, must be around here. Okay, let's grab this. We'll go over here maybe. Where did it go? Huh, I'm running out of pearl. Oh wait, did it go underneath? Fine. Dig down it is. Never dig down, right? But this is what you tend to do. If you look at it like this. Oh, you know what? I also, uh, let's use some permafrost. Eh, there you go. You guys can't see a sausage, can you? Right, let's uh, let's swap that one out. If you dig down, you, you can angle your camera so you can mine two things at once. I can see on the map there's something. Are we nearly there? Nice little purple block, I like this. Uh oh, I think we just went past something. How far down is, is the... You know what? We can dig out like a nice little area. Hopefully it doesn't go into like the wall or anything. I think it was in... Was it this direction? I think it was this direction. Yeah. Yes. Okay, it's going that way. Fine. I don't think we're going to be able to get that back. Fine. I think what we continue doing, okay, I'll, I'll move over in this direction slightly, and then we will dig, continue digging down the way we were just doing it. Yeah, what I was going to say is you can have like an angle where your camera, you dig two things at once. You just got to keep an eye just in case you fall down. <gasps> There's some purpley stuff. What is the purple stuff? On the map. Oh! Things are coming into being. Whatever they are. Flipping heck. Look at that. Obsidian. Ah. Uh, what? I hit a shulker. Wait. <gasps> a 
Okay, this is not what I expected. I expected uh, a regular end portal. <gasps> what the heck? It's an end rod right there. Uh, we got a load of gubbins on us right now. Interesting. Okay, I'm gonna have to continue down. There's a load of endermites out. Got him. Looks like loads more endermites in there. What the heck is this? Not what I expected. There's loads of endermites. Yeah. Can I, um... Oh, you can shoot them. I didn't realise you could do that, because you can't uh, use bow and arrow on endermen, can you? Uh, maybe we just build over. Yeah, that's probably a plan, in it? What? How did you shoot? Oh, he's right there. Flippin' heck. Uh, I want to go over there. You know what? Eh. Did it. Oh my goodness. Oh. oh. Ah, everything's going wrong. <laughs> Oh, we found a shulker box. Oh, there's an enderman. That scared the poop out of me. We can't really do anything with the armor though, right? Because if we take off our main armor, we'll lose oxygen? Why have I not lost any oxygen this entire time? Can we breathe? We can breathe down here. Interesting. Can we pick this up? We can. Oh, amazing. Oh, you don't have the thing where you can just like pick stuff up with uh, the shulker box. Okay, let's get rid of like a bunch of this stuff. Take that with us. Why not? Now, this is super cheaty. This is kind of in like a ravine -y thing. So, I'm just running over to where I think it is. Obviously, there's some shulkers down here. Eh, go on. But yeah, if I run over to where I think it is on the m on the other map, this map, it kind of looks like where it's supposed to be. And then I'm gonna dig down. Let's dig right here. Fingers crossed. That is exactly where we're supposed to be. Amazing. Figured it out. Cheesed it. Uh oh. Let me up! Oh, you're kidding me. Okay, I'm floating at least. Gets me away from the endermites. Please don't die at this point. That would suck. Just got here. What are you doing? Ow! Oh, my. Uh, okay, I think that's all of the sh shulkers. Maybe. And then there's a turn oh, of endermites. Oh, never mind. There's another one right there. Right, and now I'm going to pick these off with the bow. I don't want to pop my regen yet. Because if we pop the regen now, we won't have it for the ender fight. The dragon fight. Okay, I think we're good to go now. Yeah. Now, there we go, that's, that's a good sign. Uh, I think now's probably the time. Uh, you know what, let's go. To the end! Why are you here? You're trying to yeet me off, are you? See how it is. Right, 
dig myself up. Actually, I should dig myself to like here, and then one of these has got all of my. Uh, that's empty. Okay, this one here maybe. It's not the one I was looking for. The other one. Strength, no, health boost, absorption, preservation, and in my satchel, which I've got right here, I'm going to use the instant health 2, and don't think I need the oxygen bubble. Super annoying, I didn't know that was a thing. Should have known that, really. Health boost. Um... Speed, instant health is probably definitely something we need. It wasn't as much as I thought it was. Uh, strength, absorption, and then last one, well, second to last one. Speed. Where's my regen? That's where I had a regen somewhere. Resistance and regen. Let's do those two as well. There we go. Got everything. Now let's dig up and let's take on this ender dragon that we've been hearing so much about. Aha, speed five. So we actually need some stone, don't we? So we can, like, mine up. So we need to take these out. Um, again, I haven't done a vanilla-ish Ender Dragon kill in the longest time, so... I fully expect to fail this. Missed it. Don't know if I can get it from here. Probably not. My sight is just... <gasps> I did get it. Kidding me. I do have a bunch more blocks. Is he landing? Or, sorry, is she landing? Looks like it. Nope. Nope. Got him. Right. That's like half of them done. We're going to have to dig all the way back down and then go to the other side. Okay, I've got a few more of them that were just like low-hanging fruit, as it were. I think I need to... These are the ones that are going to be a right pain. Ones with the... Yeah, I think they're always a pain though, right? We might some more endstone. I don't know how you're normally supposed to do this, but this is how I'm doing it. Dragon, please don't knock me off. Oh, I didn't get the one up there. Haha! <laughs> Nailed it. And then, finally... I just need to go over to that one. Okie dokie, and last one. Boom! Right, now it's just Ender Dragon time. No, there's one more. There's one more. I didn't realise there was another one. All the way up there. Flippin' egg. Uh, one of these has got... I should probably have not done it right next to the... To the tower, but okay. That was the last one, I think. I hope. Uh, I actually moved far too quickly, and I'm gonna fall and die. Oh, I didn't die! Hey! <laughs> uh oh, uh oh! Don't anger the Enderman. Sorry, Enderman. <laughs> cheeky, cheeky! Uh, drink break right in the middle of the Enderman fight, Ender Dragon fight. Right, here we go. Here we go. Oh, that was a really short landing. Thank you for that. It's always really unsatisfying when you kill the Ender Dragon with the bow and arrow, in my opinion. It's always more satisfying when they land and you take them out. So I might leave the last piece of the Ender Dragon's health to the trusty blue steel sword. Uh, yeah. That's definitely just a little tap. We'll do this. Just need to wait for you to land. Come on, you. 
There it is. We've done it. We technically beat in the pack. Oh. Oh yes, give me the experience. Give me the experience. Thank you very much. And we'll take the dragon egg as well. Let's put that there. Dragon egg. Ah, oh, amazing. Right, let's go back home. And we're back in the overworld. And I am currently in creative on a very snowy night. Ah. Oh. That was fun, eh? That was really fun. I enjoyed that. I really enjoyed this pack, I must admit. I want to say a big thank you to the Vortex and uh, the ATM team for this pack. It's just been amazing, honestly. The amount of, like, roadblocks that have been there. Like, uh, we had that spawner issue and... You know, just general, like, not knowing how things work has been amazing. I love that feeling of, like, exploration. That, uh, I don't know, I don't, I don't feel like I get that as much nowadays. That's probably my mind, though, just being like, you need to learn everything, everything now. But once you've learnt it, learnt it once, it's like, wow, well, it's in, in my head now, right? So, yeah, super annoying that... I'm at that point, but this pack has been such a breath of fresh air. Fresh, cold air, I must admit. <laughs> oh, it's been brilliant. Honestly. Uh, this is probably my favourite pack of all time now. Not going to lie. Yeah, um, there's so much I wanted to do in this pack. And I know like a bunch of people have suggested things to do. Like, Well, the big thing that I really wanted to do was put a roof on this. I'm not going to do it. I'm going to leave it because I'm going to set up a world download for this. Uh, all my world downloads, I try to do one for every series that I do, is uh, on my Discord. So if you guys are interested in getting the world download for this, then uh, link for the Discord is in the description. So go and have a look at that. Everyone on the Discord is super, super nice. They're very helpful as well. So if you've got any questions, then just ask away because everyone is super, super nice. But yeah, if you want to grab this uh, this world save and hop into Gravitas and, I don't know, maybe do a bit of the things that I didn't manage to get to, then feel free. Oh, I don't want to end. I, I seriously don't want to end this pack. Oh, I have to though, right? There's so many other packs that are coming out right now that I really want to get to. Uh, I'm having so much fun with all the mods 9 right now, so if you are interested, then uh, have a look at my all the mods 9 series, I suppose. But yeah, I'm going to leave it here. So, for the last time in Gravitas, thank you for watching. Thanks for joining. And I will see you in the next pack. Bye.